In today's video, we will be taking a look at how much of a difference changing the power plan can impact the performance of your PC or laptop. If I open up my power plan settings, as you can see, I currently have it set to power saver. We will be testing out power saver, balanced, AMD Ryzen high performance, high performance as well, and the ultimate performance option. You may not have the ultimate performance option and that's because you actually have to enable it. If you want to enable this option, and I highly do recommend you do, click on the link that's in the description below and it will take you to another one of my videos where I show you how to enable this option. So the first power plan we're going to test is the power saver. I will be using user benchmarks to test each power plan so I'm going to go ahead now and run the benchmark for power saver. But before we start running the tests, comment below which power plan you think will run the best and if you think it will have a massive impact on the performance. So I'm going to go ahead now and open up user benchmark. And also if you do enjoy this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It's time to go ahead and press run. Okay, so the results are now in. And straight away at the top, you can see gaming is on 53%, desktop 69 and workstation 57. If we scroll down, this is the part that we want to look at. Performance as expected is on 46th place. If we look at our CPU, it was on 63.7%. And as you can see under normal, it scored 55%, heavy 63 and server 70%. My graphics card was on 74 and the drives on 95, 67, 41 and then also the RAM was on 86%. It's now time to change the power plan to balanced and see just how well the system performs on balanced power plan option. I'm going to go ahead now and run the benchmark again and then we will see what the results are. Okay, the results are in for the balanced power plan. And straight away you can see gaming is now up to 64%, desktop on 89% and workstation on 62. If I quickly flick between the two, you can see the old gaming was on 53 and workstation was on 57 and also there's a massive increase on desktop, which is great. If we scroll down, you can see that the CPU done much better on 81% now, but previously it was actually only on 63%. The graphics card was on 74%. It's now actually showing 71%, which is actually a bit strange. Not sure why it's gone down as it should have gone up. And also if we scroll down and look at the memory, it was on 89% on the balanced, on the original power plan, it only scored 86%. So just by changing the power plan to balance from power saver, we have dramatically increased the performance of our system. So it's now time to see how much of an increase we will get by changing it to high performance. I'm now going to select high performance and we are then going to run the benchmark tool again. And also I do make sure everything is shut down like the web browsers and everything when running these tests. If you want to also test your benchmarks, then go over to userbenchmark.com and that is where you can do it yourself. Okay, and the results are now in. As you can see, gaming has got 65%. Previously, it actually only got 64 on the other power plan setting. And also desktops now on 90% and workstation on 63, which is actually quite an improvement. If we go back to the old power plan, which was the balanced, as you can see, gaming got 64, desktop 89, and workstation 62. So again, that is an increase in performance just by simply changing the power plan setting from balanced to high performance. If we scroll down a little bit on the balanced one, as you can see, the CPU was on 81.2%. If we go to our high performance, it's now on 83.2%. Graphics cards on 72%. 
and before it was on 71%, so there's an increase for graphics, and also the memory, if we scroll down, 88.9%, and it was previously on 89% there. So with the memory, there's not a lot of difference there, but it will always be the CPU that you see an increase on anyway. As for the drives, they also got a increase as well. It's now time to change the power plan to AMD's Ryzen High Performance and see just how much of an increase that will make compared to the High Performance power plan. Okay, the results are in for the AMD's High Performance power plan. So gaming is on 66, desktop 90 and workstation 63. If we flick back to the Windows High Performance, as you can see gaming had an increase of 1%. Desktop is the same and workstations the same. If we scroll down and look at our processor, on the AMD power plan it's on 84%. On the Windows power plan it was only on 83%. So that's an increase again. If we look at the graphics card, it's on 72% on the Windows high performance. On AMD it's on 72% there, so there's no difference in graphics. If we scroll again and look at the drives, the drives are looking the same. In fact, the drive was slightly better for the Seagate Barracuda on the Windows power plan, but the Western Digital 1TB actually performed better on my AMD power plan. If we scroll down and look at the memory, the memory was better on the AMD Ryzen's high performance. Only by a little bit, but it's still better. So it's now time to see how good the ultimate performance power plan is. This is going to be an interesting one as this really is the best power plan you can have. And also, like I said, if you want to enable this one on your machine, click on the link that's in the description below. And I have got a video showing you how to enable it. Okay. The results are now in for the ultimate power plan and straight away for gaming. It was on 70%. The original AMD Ryzen performance power plan only got 66%, so there's definitely an increase there in performance. Desktop was the same, and workstation was up a little bit by 2%. If we scroll down now and look at the processor, it was on 84% for the AMD Ryzen high performance. The Ultimate got it up to 88%. So that is a massive increase in performance, and that is what we want to see. That is definitely amazing. As you can see, just by changing a power plan can really help boost and improve that performance of your system. If we scroll down, the graphics card's on 73%. The AMD scored 72%. And as for the drives, there's probably not a lot of difference in the drives. But there we go. The middle one, Western Digital Black 1TB, actually scored less. But the Seagate scored slightly higher. If we scroll down now and look at the memory, our memory scored 88% on the ultimate plan. As for on the Ryzen, it actually scored 89%. But like I said earlier on, it's more down to the processor. This is what the power plans have the most effect on. And straight away, the ultimate plan did make a massive improvement. If we go back to the original power saver power plan, it was actually only on 63%. So changing that power plan really does boost the performance. If you did comment below and you did write down the correct power plan that you thought was going to be the best, well done, a massive thumbs up on that. Also, like I said at the start of this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you do want to see more videos like this.